Uh, I gotta ask y'all a question. I know I usually come on here and like push P and kind of like give y'all advice, but I want to be real as I could possibly be right now and ask y'all a question. Like, what would you do, right? If you was in a situation where you had like, you had a parent that like they support you, but they don't support you being trans. And I mean by support you, like literally. Okay, basically, like I'm the youngest in my family. What the fuck is that flying around? I'm the youngest in my family. Uh, I'm the youngest out of all my siblings. So, you know, the youngest, I'm spoiled. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm spoiled. I get whatever I want. Like, materialistic-wise, I can get whatever I want from this parent. Like, they'll give me money. They'll give me uh, clothes. Like, I can I, a car. I'm finna get another car. They helped me buy a car last year because I was working and stuff like that. I'm about to get another car, most likely. But, like... This parent, like, I can get and do and have whatever I want from them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they help me. They take care of me. Give me a great advice. Like, the relationship is good all the way up until me being trans. Like, that, they just, it just don't click to them. They just don't understand it. They don't like it. Um, they don't respect it. So, like, how would y'all go about all that? Like, it, it's just weird because it's like, uh, I don't know. Because, like, at the same time, like, it's like, I be needing help, you know what I'm saying? Especially since, you know, I moved to another state. Hey, y'all, I live in Texas now. I wasn't going to tell nobody, but, like, yeah, we moved. We moved out of state. But, um, so, like, right now, I'm looking for another car and another job, you know what I'm saying? But his parents do support me, but it's like they just can't wrap their mind around, like, the whole transgender thing. It's unnecessary. They don't... Like, they don't even care about the fact that I date girls. They just don't want me to be trans. They just don't, it, it just don't make sense to them. And they are boomer. And like, I haven't necessarily like just sat and like had the energy to kind of like go back and forth and explain myself to them. Cause you know, um, I don't want to get like mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get mad, but I think I can have the conversation now, but it's just like, what would y'all do? What the fuck is that? On my face. Um, what would y'all do in a situation like that? Because a lot of y'all, y'all have like a lot of p other people's stories is like, oh, their parents don't support them. They kick them out of the house. They do all these things. Like, nah, my parents didn't necessarily kick me out, but they gonna let me know they don't support me being trans. But they gonna let me know they support me. You feel me? Like they don't support me being trans, but they support me whenever i need something anything i need they'll give it to me you know what i'm saying they'll give me the shirt off their back but they just don't they don't understand that part of me they don't understand why you know what i'm saying they don't understand that so i never understand because i never heard nobody's story like that i've only heard people talk about like how their parents don't support them and their parents kick them out and treat them like trash like my parents didn't necessarily kick me out and treat me like trash but they let me know how, like, they feel about trans people and how, like, it's just not a good thing. Um, it's just not a good good thing to be. <laughs> like, but, yeah, like, I don't know. Like, it, it's, it's a weird situation. Like, I always, I just think that, like, I'm like, why don't I ever hear these stories? Like, I don't never hear stories like that. I don't know. I guess that's why I wanted to come on YouTube and, like, you know, make videos because other people's stories is like extreme. Like they transition be extreme. Like mine's not extreme. Like my parents didn't turn on me and start hating me and kick me out the house and oh you can't come around me and stuff. Now I've had I've had had parents threaten me and I stood on big business with that shit. Like I stood on big business back when I was like sixteen. I had this same parent tell me, uh it was around Thanksgiving. They told me they was like, Look you want to come to Thanksgiving? If you, no, he was like, what did he say? You want to come back to my house? Um, if you want to come to my house, don't come around me looking like a boy and stuff. And I was like, bet, okay. And then turned around and kept calling my phone, talking about why I didn't come over. Well, you said what you said. Like, I thought you didn't want me around. And so, I mean, I don't know. So, I started back going around him and stuff like that. Because they, they started asking, like, why I wouldn't come up around him. I'm like, you know. Cause you told me not to and stuff like that and then he was like oh you need to come up there this weekend like you need to come stay with us and stuff like this weekend so like 
I'll just go, you know what I'm saying? Because I did miss being around them. I did miss being around them in the family, you know what I'm saying? But that that did happen to me. Like, they threatened to cut me off, but they didn't. Like, even after I still stood on business, they didn't cut me off. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm thinking about taking the same route with this transition. You know what I'm saying? It's just something that they have to get used to. You feel me? Because I don't believe that, like, they'll just cut me completely off. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, in this situation, I I really don't know what to do about uh, half-ass supporting parents. Like, they, I mean, they support me, like I said, financially-wise with anything that I want. Like, I can get anything I want, money, cars, anything from them. But it's like they just don't support me being trans. They don't support that. They don't support that. This same parent, like, they'll give me the shirt off. The shirt off their back, like, you know, I can call them for anything at any time and talk to them about anything. They give great life advice. They know a lot of stuff. They teach me a lot of stuff. But they just don't, don't support me being trans. So, yeah. I don't know what to do about that. Like, <laughs> and I've never heard nobody talk about it. Like, I'm like, bro, so there's nobody out here in, in the same situation. I never heard nobody talk about it. I'm only hear people talk about like how bad their parents treat them like it's not necessarily bad my my parents don't treat me bad because I'm trans they just don't like it they don't agree with it and they don't understand it and then they, they try to remind me like oh you know well lately they've been saying all this stuff talking about you don't want to be trans because you know Trump is shutting down the trans people and stuff and Trump ain't gonna do nothing okay I'm gonna make a whole nother video about that you feel me I mean it, I'm gonna make a whole another video. Trump not stopping nothing this way. Uh, he not. He not. I'm. 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 I'm gonna talk about the election. That's. Some, that's. That's for a whole another video. I'm gonna talk about that. But Trump not stopping nothing this way. I'm sorry. He not. Like. He not. Dude, we'll turn. Y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know. As a collective, we know that if Trump were to literally stop gender affirming fair affair, gender affirming. Uh, stuff. If he stopped that, bro, do you know we'll turn this bitch upside down? <laughs> like, what you mean? Like, us as a collective will turn this motherfucker upside down before we stop that. It'll be we'll go into. Yeah, right. okay. We'll see about that. But um, back to what I was saying. But yeah, that's just the boat that I'm in. Like, I just don't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know. What would y'all do? Because it's not completely horrible, but it, it, it ain't, like, completely good neither. Especially when you have to hear that stuff. And, like, I be wanting to say stuff, but, like, it's like, where is this conversation going to go? You know what I'm saying? Like, would they really, like, listen to understand or would they listen just to respond? Because, you know, they just don't understand i think i didn't explain it before but like mm -hmm. i ain't never really just i ain't never really just explain it to them you know what i'm saying i guess i guess that's probably what it is i gotta see where it goes but damn i did explain it to them um four years ago when i first started it and you know it didn't go nowhere uh they didn't agree with it you know what i'm saying but uh i pretty much like I still don't business with everybody now. I was just like, sure. If you, you don't agree with it, you don't agree with it. But, like, what would y'all do about a situation where you have, like, a parent that, like, support you, but they don't support you, but they do support you, but they don't? Like, I've never heard nobody talk about that. But y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, follow me on my socials. My socials. Y'all be asking me for my socials. Like, do I have Instagram and stuff like that? I do, bro. Like, you have to go to uh, my bio. All my social media. Yeah, all of them is in my bios. I think my TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat is in there. Yeah. Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat, all that. I don't even be on Snapchat like that. Like, I just... I don't be on there like that. So, TikTok and Instagram, I definitely be on there. Um, you can add me on that. On TikTok... Yeah, IG. It's in the link are in my bio. So if you want to keep up with me on, on on there, 
you can. But I hope y'all um I hope y'all can feel where I'm coming from with this stuff, because I just don't know. And I ain't never heard nobody talk about it. Like, I ain't never heard nobody say that, like, you know, they parents support them, but they don't support them. Like, they support them being trans, but they don't support them. Like, they, no, I'm saying they support them, but they don't support them being trans. And usually, like, what I, the stories that I hear, I always hear stories like, oh, um, you know, my parents hate me. My parents kicked me out. My parents abused me. My parents emotionally and verbally abused me. Like, I didn't go through no verbal abuse, nothing like that. Like, I mean, I don't consider it verbal abuse. It was just, like, they just said they don't like it. Like, but they didn't, like, kick me out of the house and say, oh, you can't come around me or I'm not going to help you or I'm not going to talk to you. None of that. They didn't do none of that. So it's just kind of confusing. <laughs> so does that mean there's hope? Is that what that means? Like, I'm trying to figure it out, bro. I really want to know. I believe it is hope. I believe it is hope because, like, last time, uh, it's been a while, but, like, I do believe that there's there is some hope. There's some hope. It got to be some hope because I don't understand all this stuff. Like, I don't understand, like, what to do. You feel me? And that's what I meant. Like, on one of my videos, um, it was, like, our older videos, and I was, like, rethinking my transition. That's what I be talking about. Like, and when I said um, transitioning can be hard, like, because, like, the, the hard part about it is the social part, like, taking the hormones and getting surgery, that ain't the hard part, the hard part is, like, socially transitioning, like, this shit's so draining, bro, and it, it, it be, it be messing with my head, for real, like, I be like, bro, like, and sometimes I be just want to pop out and show niggas, <laughs> not gonna lie, I just want to pop out and show niggas, like, I just, I still feel like, I think it's only hard because I'm like, I'm shielding, like I'm, I'm holding myself back. Like I'm trying not to step on people's toes too much. I'm trying my best to just like, you know, not, I don't know, not be too much. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, bro, it's me or you, bro. I have to be me. I have to live my life for me, bro. I can't keep like trying to spare somebody feelings just because they don't agree with my with me you know what i'm saying like i don't know, I don't know but do i financially depend on them no i mean right now kind of sort of i mean not necessarily because i could go back to mississippi but who finna go back no sorry <laughs> No, we not. We, what they say, we not going back, bro. We're not going back. Like I'm not going back to the sip. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe I need to move out and live on my own again. Which I was. I was staying on my own, but you know, you know. I, once I heard that we was gonna move to Texas, I had to catch that ride. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I had to catch that ride because I'm looking for an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just had to get out of Mississippi. I love that place, but it's like, bro, it's just it's not an enough opportunities there. I love Mississippi. That'll that'll be somewhere I will retire. Not gonna lie, I love I love my state. I love where I'm from. It's not what people think it is, especially when you come to the coast. Nigga, you gotta come to the Gulf Coast, boy. You gotta come to like Biloxi, Biloxi. The Gulf Coast, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, do y'all know it has 14 casinos? They finna build two more, so we finna have 16 casinos. We're gonna be like the Vegas of the South. We have 14 casinos on the coast of Mississippi. So I don't understand when people be like, oh, Mississippi don't got nothing. They don't, they, don't, they, they country, they don't. Bro, we got, it's plenty of stuff to do for Mississippi where I'm from. But that's a whole nother topic. But it's just like, it's still a, a limited amount of um, like jobs and opportunity wise. That's the only thing about Mississippi that's kind of aggravating. It's like it's hard to get a good paying job, like a good paying job. Like that Mississippi, that they don't want to pay you no money for real. Like I was a welder in Mississippi. Like I welded. I was starting off. I was getting paid eighteen an hour. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I worked at the shipyard. 
at a shipyard. You know what I'm saying? And I heard out here in Texas, like, you work at a shipyard, you coming home with a band a week, two bands a week. So, I mean, I don't know. I was making 600 a week in Mississippi for welding. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's a whole nother topic. I'm going on a tangent, but it's just a lot. It's just a lot I've been going through. And that's, that's pretty much why I've been going through this whole transition. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what to do. What would y'all do? Leave a comment, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gone for real. Y'all have a good night for real.